Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio ALM MVP and DevOps practice lead. In this series, I'm going to explain how to enhance the front end code quality uh, using different tools and techniques and practices uh, with integration with Visual Studio Team services, build automation, and Visual Studio tools. So let's start from the beginning. So we have the Visual Studio Team services and Visual Studio as the main platform for our development and build automation. We have different JavaScript unit testing frameworks like Jasmine, which is a BDD or behavior driven development for your JavaScript. Uh, we have another uh, JavaScript uh, library, which is Mocha. Uh, we have another which which is Phantom GS, which is headless browser to to run unit test as a headless browser. We have also Jest, which is one of the very very good uh, framework. So we have many framework for 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 JavaScript unit testing, and we have Istanbul for code coverage. So we we can calculate the code coverage with with unit testing. Uh, we can also have many tools for linting or code analysis, static code analysis for our JavaScript or the CSS or HTML. So we have here the JS hint, we have here the CSS lint, we have ES lint, and we have JS lint. We have also some uh, code formatting tools like Prettier, which is coming from Pretty the code. We have also uh, tidy uh, HTML tidy which is making the code much better we have also the task runners like grunt and the gulp which is needed to automate this kind of you know all different tasks it's either unit testing JavaScript or linting code analysis or static code analysis or formatting we need to automate that so we have the task runner like um, Grunt and Gulp. This is not all the tools, of course. We have many other tools for improving the good quality. I just give some example about them. And even for our videos, I'm, I'm not going to focus on all of that. I will just mainly focus taking one example from different tools. So in the unit testing, I will I will take the Jasmine. And for the linting tool, I will take the GS hint. Uh, running the task runner, I will use Grunt with Phantom GS to run the Jasmine unit testing. And I will use Istanbul to calculate the code coverage for JavaScript unit testing using Jasmine. And after all, at the end, I will automate uh, the VSTS build automation to include all these tasks using grunt and vsts build automation so we can have that as a part of our continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline let's see the first video i'm going to talk about how to write your first unit testing using jasmine and running that using the standalone version we will understand what is the standalone version in jasmine and how to download it and how to write your unit test you don't need anything you can just run that with a standalone version so we will see that the second video i'm going to explain how to running jasmine javascript unit test from command line using grunt so we will see how to install Grunt, how to install the npm packages, and how to run that from the command line. In the third video, we are going to see how to running Jasmine JavaScript unit testing from Visual Studio command line runner. It's, it's a great extension that making a command line embedded inside the Visual Studio. So we can see how we don't need to go to the command line. We can run the command line inside the Visual Studio. So we can so we will see how to run that using the command line task runner using grunt and uh, Jasmine uh, unit testing. In the next video, we are going to see how to run the JavaScript Jasmine unit testing using the test explorer with GoToSpot, which is a Visual Studio extension uh, as a test adapter. So uh, with this test adapter, this will be displayed on the test explorer. So how we can run that as well, which doesn't need any 
uh, grunt library or npm because it's using the standalone behind the scene so we will see that the next video we will see how to calculate code coverage using uh, Istanbul and how to embed it the configuration of the code coverage inside the task of the Jasmine unit testing and all of that using the grunt configuration in the next video we will see how to using a good quality tools with JS hint and co configure that with grunt and running that as well and in the last video we are going to see how to integrate all of these tasks and the practices to have a complete build automation with Visual Studio Team Services build automation so we can have all this task as a part of our continuous integration and uh, continuous delivery pipeline. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please, if you have any question or you would like to, to know anything, don't hesitate to contact me on my blog muhammadradwan.com. You can also click on the links that will appear on the screen, which is including the DevOps guide, which is published on the technet. This guide includes basic principles about DevOps for people that want to get more familiar about uh, the high level of DevOps. You can also click on the, the related video, which is usually is good adding more information for the current video, which is appear now on the screen. Thank you.